from the command center of the JW Solar USA. We've been waiting for a long time to get our project started with um, our Victron equipment. So this is the new uh, kit in the block. So we got a smart solar charge controller with the Bluetooth capability MPPT 15070TR. So this is the 70TR. I uh, just hook up this one, and there's no sun outside. It's just uh, cloudy, and um, just want to show you guys. This is what it is, and we'll bring in an amp. So the batteries are almost their charge. It's about 400 millivolts. Supposed to be 16.4. So we just topping up the battery, and uh, here is the other generation. Here is the smart solar charge controller MPPT 140 15085TR. This is the the VE can. So VE can it has the connection here like a um, Ethernet connection. So you can just plug it to your um, uh, Quadro GX. So this is how this one connect. And you can able to connect it to VE Direct. So this is, uh, I bought the uh, display for them. Because I don't want to be on the app or just constantly looking at stuff on on my phone so i want when i come back and can just do it because i don't want to keep turning on the location and turning the bluetooth because um it's a tendency draining your battery on your phone or if you don't plug it in then the device gonna die because of uh, the bluetooth and the location thing takes power constantly on tracking things and uh, it's like um, draining your battery. So if I have the display module here and I can just able to go about, um, look at it when I want to, if I'm within the vicinity. This one does have the V can, but you can see for the relays and all the remote, but I can use a V direct from here. Okay, I can use a V direct to connect it and um, this is what it's doing and I can bring you to the other family which is here the smart solar charge controller MPPT 5045 this is the 45 um, it has a V direct where I can able to connect it with the um, solar GX if I wanted to or through Bluetooth connectivity here is another one the smart solar charge controller this is the uh, MPPT 120 okay so um, like I said the Victron family is here this is the Phoenix inverter smart is a 12 volt 2000 VA which is approximately um, 1600 watts 1 1.6 kilowatt so Victron always uh, showed as a VA volt amp it is a Bluetooth capability as well and um, like I said I'm gonna show you guys um, the devices and I'm gonna show you the 48 volts charge control inverter okay and here is the 85 amp TR with the um, the V can Victron energy can let me go show you the charge controller the 48 volt so here is the uh, 48 volt uh, Victron energy multi plus 2 which is a 48 volt three three 
thousand VA thirty five amps. So it's still on the plastic inside the plastic, and this is gonna be working. The eighty five amp hour charge controller is gonna be working with this guy, and it's gonna also work with the seventy. So I'm gonna be having the seventy and the 85 amp working in conjunction to this inverter right here that's the one going to be having the massive um, battery bank and uh, it's going to be having solar panels into it and it's so good that because the 48 volts the battery is already configured in 48 volts already which is 60 volt Okay, that's a 16S. So I can put a 16S into this guy right here. And those are the, um, the, uh, the Chrysler Pacifica batteries. And they are, um, uh, uh, um, I think they're Samsung's. So they're going to be working with this guy right here. So, before going further, I, I'm seeing because we haven't tweaked the um, specification for this guy right here. We still have the lights on. We still have, we have to turn off this light. If you go into the setting, um, I think we're supposed to be on the 50 something. Um... I think it's 50 something, which is the screen. This is a, uh, the scroll. I think this is screen scroll. Okay, this is the backlight. Then you push the select. See, it says on. Instead of auto, we have to go back and change it. Change it to off. Here's the back screen. Scroll speed. It's kind of weird the way um, the the writings are. It's not like they kind of choppy. So, like I said, we already got it figured out. Oh, anytime, I think it's a minute or something, and it will go away. Stay tuned. It stays lit. It's going to take some power. Not that much because that was 16.1 earlier. Now it's 16 even so anytime from now the backlight's gonna go off and you don't want to leave the okay now it's trying to replenish itself again so anytime you leave the backlight on there's a potential or there's a possibility that you're gonna be um, losing or burning your screen because it stays um, 24 hours seven days a week 12 months so 365 days what will happen you end up losing this and this just this display alone is expensive uh approximately the cheapest you can find it at 50 dollars and most other people are selling it for um this uh smart solar control display by victron some people you can get it for sixty dollars and something or more well you can get this too um i i got this for 50. so it's not cheap at all anything nicey <laughs> 
it went off this is how you turn the screen off i think that's a lot of people don't even buy the screen they don't look at it like it's uh, important but um having the screen it saves you some time logging into your phone what about if your phone dies or your tablet dies in case of anything maybe power failure outages and that thing was connected the system or whatever you connect that system or you don't even have a good battery on that device to hold charge you have to plug that in some people probably use like a old laptop that is not important to them anymore but um by doing so um they still plug but when the batteries are almost dead and you don't want anything to suck power unnecessarily and mostly <clears throat> excuse me for devices that you don't use or you 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 have to charge you don't want the charger to be plugged in constantly every day like they always say uh, on your phone when the phone is already charged unplug it disconnect it from the charger because it doesn't do anything to the thing it keep ruining your battery you see mostly like the phones they have a built-in system with the charge uh, um um, um uh, like a bms built in it they regulate the charge and when it's full it stops charging but you keep triggering batteries like lithium batteries when they are full they are full you, you can't do anything anymore so you're trying to push it's not like a, a lead acid battery or flooded acid batteries you need to be trickle charged all the time and it destroy your battery um life or um life expectation the expectancy or longevity of your battery so this is what i'm doing here and um i just want to keep them away from that uh, um to keep my devices whatever i already have something incorporated for that i showed that on my video here we go we got a samsung uh thing and i bought this like the kids version then you can have a handle to protect from things like uh breaking up um so yeah i made a label and got this one for the business and guys this is what it is so i can able to do that but i don't want to just destroy the battery life on this guy so uh i'll i have the screens on this um end up going by the external screens I can use them if I want to or I can just put back the plug to that thing right there cover this um, it looks like a, a VGA connection like a computer or um, a computer port or something like that a serial port so this is the preparation and everything is coming to play and um, this one is working, we test that. And we have all these guys here. And we have the Phoenix Inverter Smart. So look at all these charge controllers. We are into big time Victron now, guys. Big time. And how we have the, the Smart Shunt to this incorporated as well. It's working. So everything is uh, Wi-Fi uh capability so yeah I'm gonna give you a quick glance again and device that's gonna be working with that and um that's it for this video thanks for watching love you guys all jw solar usa multi plus two 48 volt 3000 va 35 amps and it has an ac transfer capacity of 50 amps on 120 volt and this is a 230 volt okay this is for international all right take care bye for now like and subscribe jw solo usa live from minnesota command center